East Santa Barbara in a moment as they will host the Run Rebs of UNLV. Barbara, and for the introduction of the players and coaches, here's the public address announcer at Santa Barbara, Jim McNamara. Jim? University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and your UC Santa Barbara running gauchos. The starters for the UNLV running Rebels at guard. The gauchos won the two prizes of the last five, only a three to two edge for Las Vegas. We are set to go. Sellout crowd, and the crowd really is a factor. We mentioned that Santa Barbara is favored in this game by three points. It is clearly because of the crowd here at the Thunderdome. Yeah, I would have to say that'd be part of it, Barry, but the, the two-point loss really didn't hurt uh, the confidence, I'm sure, of Santa Barbara. Now they lost by two in Las Vegas. Nice play by Anthony. But it should be noted that when they did lose in Las Vegas, Butler nor Anthony played. Anderson Hunt. Well, the one thing that you will see in this game for sure, and that'll be great defense, and, and I'll say this at the top, the Las Vegas doesn't get enough credit for the kind of defense they play. They're very aggressive, man-to-man -man defense all over the court. Yeah, I think people have a tendency to think of Las Vegas as an undisciplined team, and they play a very disciplined defensive style of basketball. They, you know what that is, Greg? I think because Las Vegas scores so many points, people assume that they don't try to play defense on the other end. That is not the case. Carrick to Hart with an off balance jumper. It wouldn't go. Great tried the put back. Very brave, and I'm pretty difficult to play against, so you better come bring it every time down the court. Lucius Davis has come on, replacing Johnson for the Gauchos. Davis has been a big help to Jerry Kim off the bench. Been playing about yeah, he made me look like I knew what I was yeah, talking about with that one. Coming the other way, Davis pulls up. Incidentally, Butler out of the game now, replaced by Moses Scurry. Remember, but the rebound, loose ball down to Young. He missed the putback. And finally, Kirk DeHart comes away with it and pushes it up the floor. Davis. And that kind of lift that Lucy Davis has been giving body on Eric Mc, uh, MacArthur. And now Vegas again. They push it to the basket. They'll try to take it to the hole. But if it's not there, they kick it back out and play the half court. That's what they're doing now. MacArthur works on Butler. And a little short. Ogden doing a good job. MacArthur gets the rebound back. He's got a gang of them already. Davis. game and hopes that he can get Johnson back on track. But the heart almost forgot the basketball there. In the lane, and a beautiful shot by Lucius Davis, off balance, never really had a handle. Tell me how Johnson is playing on a defensive end. Remember, he's got four fouls. Watch it. Well, he, he gets down here. He, he just takes good position. That's what he did the last time. I'm, I'm not going to call that, that tentative. Crazy pass by Idris Jones. And a gimme at the other end. No, it's blocked from behind by Davis. He says, I got the ball. But the referee says, no, you did get the ball, but you got the man also. Idris Jones just a little lazy here. Well, that's a good play. I, I just assume say that's a good play by Larry Johnson, who you don't suspect will get out here. And, and as far as I'm concerned, Santa Barbara got away with a break here because, the, because instead of the easy basket, even though Davis didn't think he fouled, now you got Anthony on the foul line trying to make foul shots. But Greg Anthony, good free throw shooter. Jerry, what is this guy? 
Beach can get three teams in there, yes! maybe even four if Long Beach can complete things. So we're just hoping that the committee will see four teams from the Big West. Well, Terry, back to you. Okay, thanks, Quinn. And the chaos of the Thunderdome, and it was exactly the way Jerry Pym drew it up. I've never seen a game go exactly the way a coach wanted it as much as the one did tonight for Jerry Pym and the Gauchos. Right now, let's go back to John Saunders. John? Well, Barry.